Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your third tutorial on uh, making a platformer using SFML. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're going to just be setting up main. Uh, so this shouldn't be uh, a long tutorial. We're just doing the basic stuff that we learned at the beginning of uh, learning Allegro. We're just going to set up the main uh, class. And the reason why... Uh, uh, some of you might be saying, okay, why make a separate tutorial for this? Well, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I had kind of have to since we're just going through every single thing, the whole process on how to make a, a platformer. So, uh, for those of you who already know how to set up main, then I guess you might not want to watch this. But um, if you want to, then you can. Up to you. Uh, I might do something different. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's up to you. So what we need to do is we need to include the graphics.hpp and um, we can erase this uh, from the last tutorial and what we need to do is create a render, render window and we're going to call that window and we're going to say as a video mode and we're going to need a screen width and screen height so what we're going to do is we're going to include that in our screen manager class okay now uh... for now we're going to list them as defines but uh... later on uh... we might keep them as defines we, we might we might not uh, i'm not really sure uh... but yeah so we're going to say screen width is 800 and screen height is 800 and you don't have to copy this you know it's your own personal platform if you want to make a smaller screen or a larger screen it's up to you you know what I mean I'm just teaching you the principles of how to create a platformer but that doesn't mean you have to copy exactly what I'm doing right make your own personalize it you know what I mean uh, but yeah so we have our screen width uh, we have our screen height and we'll set it to 32 and we'll name it uh, for me I'll just name it coding maybe oh can't even see that uh, so for me I'll name it coding made easy platformer okay so we have a render window so uh, now that we got that done what we need to do is just we just need to set up our game loop and and that will just be it okay we're not doing anything uh, else for the rest of this tutorial and if I miss something uh, I will address it the next tutorial uh, but we're gonna say if window dot is open so if the window of the game window is open then okay and then we create an event so say as of event we'll call it event and we're going to say uh sorry if window dot get event and we pass in our event uh then we're going to check for event so what our events are going to be checking for in our program is for uh for single uh, single input okay so uh, anything that requires single input so so for now we're gonna say if event uh, dot type is equal to uh, I believe it is SF event closed yeah and we'll have a or uh, for the escape key so we'll say if event dot type uh, no event dot event dot key dot code I'm sorry I just haven't done SFML in a while if that's equal to uh, SF key escape then uh, we're going to close the win game window so we do that by saying window dot close and that is it and then after uh, so this will be no it shouldn't be an if sorry it should be a while loop so while our uh, window is open okay sorry for that so while we're doing this then we will display our window uh, but we have nothing really to display but that is uh, essentially it uh, so I know this is a short tutorial but uh, I'm just gonna end it here so uh, just to run this just to see if everything works as expected and we got something wrong in our screen manager class see, so the, the problem uh, is uh, I'll address this in the in the next few tutorials hopefully but uh what we need to do uh we'll just comment out uh this right here 
and let's just copy this right here just copy this code and at the top of our screen manager cpp what we want to put it is in there uh the the main reason why we're doing this is because every single time we include screen manager .h, it's going to create a brand new game screen which is not what we want that's what we need to include in the cpp file i believe you can avoid that by uh giving it the um saying it's extern or something like that but i'll just make it easier by doing this so i'm not sure if this is going to clean up all the problems within Oh, I just forgot. I forgot to put a semicolon there. And yeah, for right here for the screen manager class, I forgot to just put a render window. And let's see. So uh, I'm not really sure what's going on right here. Uh, let me pause to to see. Oh, oh, it's simple. We just forgot to. Well, oh, I didn't include the game screen class here. Uh, but this isn't really. This isn't the splash screen dot h. Uh, this isn't really relative to this uh tutorial. But might as well fix up all these errors for now. Uh, and last, there's something in our in our main. Uh, so I think that these are just supposed to be capital letters. And let's run this one last time to see if this time it actually works properly. And no, it doesn't. So, uh, yeah, we just forgot to put the render window there. So I know there's a lot of errors now. And you guys are saying that you, some of you might be saying, okay, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Remember, uh, I don't have the code pre-written. So we're just, we're just kind of like freestyling with this for now. So everything is good. Everything is set. Oh, but the problem, if you see we get this error right here, it says that the program can't start with um, because uh, this is missing SFML uh, graphics.dll. Uh, that is because we need to take the DLL files and, and uh, put them into our project folder. So I'm going to pause this and then bring it up uh, with the files that you'll need. Okay, so these files you see right here that are highlighted, I just copied and pasted them here. Now, some of you guys might not get this error. Some of you might. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think I actually uh, directed it to that include path or whatever when I included SFML. So that's why I need to include them into my project folder. So if you ever get the error, then locate these file types. And if you if you don't uh, uh, know these file types, just inbox me or post a question on my website or whatever, and I'll, I'll give you the file names you need. So let's try to run this one more time and we get our screen so and then we press uh, the close button it will close so that is it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye